And so we finally reached the finale of season three. And after watching this episode, I only had two thoughts. One, what in the world did I just watch? And two, okay, now I understand what is going on. That's the second thought. However, despite how confusing it was, I am glad that we ended off the season with an episode dedicated with Vanessa. Cause I feel as though that was the biggest question in everyone's mind. Like, where is this woman? What is she doing? And how is she? Like, how is she really? And so we finally got the context of that. To put it simply, she was just feeling lost. And the trip to Europe was her form of escapism. Yeah, it may have not been the healthiest way to deal with it, but it was the only option to her. Or everything led to it happening the way that it did. And I feel really bad because I realized there was a lot of hate or disdain that people had towards Vanessa because we didn't get much of her character. And so I think this was very much intentional to not only make for an interesting story but to build her up in the end because i do feel as though her journey as a character isn't quite done yet you know I, it doesn't happen overnight even for fictional characters i'm sure atlanta will deal with it accordingly and a little bit more organic leading into season four and personally i never felt strongly about it i was just only confused because the way she was acting very early on was just peculiar to me and so i'm glad that we got more background into what was really going on in her life and perhaps even saying loss is an understatement but you know i'm still glad that we got this whatever it was and so with that being said that's really all i have to say in regards to vanessa at least at the root of it but with everything that had gone on in this episode i feel like it'd be blasphemous for me not to mention at least a couple other things and so the first thing that i noticed while watching this was her hair with episode six she was accused of stealing a wig and i guess this was the one she was talking about but we hadn't gotten to see it because Ern was really caught up into wondering where she was and so if you think about it all this stuff was really happening within our face her like the slow descent into watching her detach from the vanessa we know and not only that urn does ask if she did in fact steal the wig and she just doesn't say anything and so i feel as though many of us had already assumed that she did but at least for now we know the reason and speaking of the wig she does sport the same hairstyle in this episode as the titular character amelie the one she spoke of near to the end which if you haven't seen it Without spoiling too much, she does experience a tragic event, which leads her to loneliness, which leads her into a whole series of events and ultimately finds herself in the end, which I don't think Vanessa has gotten there yet, but I do think Atlanta will take that approach leading into season four, but with her own story arc and character beats. Now, another thing that I thought was pretty odd following the fried hands and the blatant cannibalism was the timeline in which all this was happening. Like to my knowledge, the cast hasn't been in Amsterdam all that long like I think it's been noted they've only been there for like two weeks and I saw early in the episode that Vanessa was appearing in magazines like almost setting a name for herself while also having a whole separate life with people unrelated to the main cast like it really took me for a loop again following after the fried hands which I don't have an opinion on maybe it's just in there to mess with the audience you know I don't want to look any further than that and stress myself out over cannibalism right now And with all that being said, I thought this was a really great episode. Yes, it was a bit confusing, but it was very necessary for the character of Anne. A strong finale, I must say. Especially when it comes to that post credit scene. You know, I think it's one of those moments where it's up for interpretation. We have all summer leading into fall for whatever idea is conjured up. And you know, there's a good chance that it just may not be addressed in season four. Personally, I did have my suspicions that we would see Ernest Marks again despite him offing himself into the pool but not like this this is like incredibly direct all those standalone episodes were like in their own separate world away from the main characters it could be argued that all of those detours were dreams of Ern and even though they lacked a scene where he wakes up it probably would have been too repetitious to keep doing that and so to keep my sanity I'll just say that Ernest Marks stuff shown 
showing up was nothing more than a bad omen, assuming this does get carried and picked up in season 4. And so that's all I really have to say for this episode. I thought it was a great season finale. And although the show this time around may not have been everyone's cup of tea, I personally enjoyed it, the weekly discussions and everything that came of it. We may not have seen much of the cast, but I did love the very unique approach they took. It really challenges the medium of television and storytelling. And so I thought it was productive. So I have no qualms with it. Though I am hoping we do see more of the characters when they're all back in Atlanta. It was fun. And so I'll see you guys whenever that will be. Please take care of yourself and please have yourself a good one.